are going to discuss functions. So under functions, so first, so we have to learn order pairs. Order pairs. What is meant by the order pairs? So let A and B be sets. If A belongs to A and B belongs to B, then A comma B is an order pair. In this A comma B order should not be changed. So this pair is called order pair. Note. So in this order pair this first element A, what do we call? The second element B, what do we call? So under note, let us note down. A is called the first component component or it may be called coordinate B is called the second component or coordinate. So now, third point, the coordinates, the coordinates of a point a point in a plane are order pairs of real numbers. Real numbers. And next Suppose if a one comma b one and a two comma b two are order pairs such that such that a1 b1 equals to a2 b2 then a1 equals to a2 and b1 equals to b2 that means if two order pairs are equated first component equal to first component, second component equal to second component. That means in this case A1 is equal to A2 and B1 is equal to B2. What is meant by the Cartesian product? Cartesian product.
let A and B be two sets then set a comma b such that a belongs to a comma b belongs to b is called the cartesian product cartesian product product of a and b denoted by denoted by a cross b a cross b therefore here after a cross b is equal to set builder form a comma b such that a belongs to a comma b belongs to b or in simple manner we say that cartesian pro product is nothing but set of order pairs set of order pairs now let us solve some examples on cartesian product example let a equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 b equals to a comma b now we have the two sets a b so first let us find out a cross b now a cross b is equal to 1 2 3 cross product a comma b now this equal to 1 comma a 1 comma b 2 comma a 2 comma b 3 comma a and 3 comma b so this is a cross b so now b cross a let us find out b cross a b cross a means set a comma b cross 1 comma 2 comma 3 now this we can write a comma 1 a comma 2 a comma 3 b comma 1 b comma 2 b comma 3 now from these two what do we observe a cross b and b cross a a cross b does not equal to b cross a now one more example let us find out a cross a so a cross a means a is 1 2 3 cross 1 2 3 only now we get 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 this is a cross a so now 
similarly we can find out b cross b also so b is a comma b cross a comma b now here this is a comma a comma a comma b b comma a and b comma b can you find out a cross of pi a cross of pi means pi is a null set it is quite obvious that you get pi only or we can say a is equal to pi or b is equal to pi that implies a cross b is always we get a null set 